it's official. After petitioners failed to get the needed amount of signatures the first time around and then being given 10 days to correct it, and they did, recreational marijuana is on the ballot in November. So what could be the outcomes if this proposed law passes? Well, for one, according to the Coalition to Regulate Marijuana Like Alcohol, the group behind this effort, the quote, cultivation, manufacturing, testing, and sale of marijuana and marijuana products to adults ages 21 and up, end quote, would be legal, but also regulated. Home growth of marijuana would also be legal. However, the limit would be six plants per person and 12 per residence. And as is the case with legal sports betting, there would be something in it for the state, tax revenue. The group lays out a, quote, 10% cannabis tax rate on sales of recreational weed that would be divvied up to support social equity and jobs programs, funding for communities that are home to dispensaries, regulatory and administrative costs, and addiction treatment and education. So let's talk about that last part. Can marijuana set some people up for issues with addiction? A National Institute on Drug Abuse report found, quote, 30% of those who use marijuana may have some degree of marijuana use disorder, end quote. Its research also found, quote, people who begin using marijuana before the age of 18 are four to seven times more likely to develop a marijuana use disorder than adults, end quote. Note that the minimum age for Ohio's proposed law is 21. The general election is November 7th, and if you'd like additional information regarding that, go ahead and log on to VoteOhio.gov or your local County Board of Elections website. Reporting in Toledo, I'm Jaden Jefferson.